Aha! A nice juicy warthog. Surely that is all we need next for Celestial to be able to have her lion cub. Come on, buddy! Your energy is going straight to our Celestial Lioness. She has a baby on the way. She needs some food. There you go, buddy. All right. There. Wonderful. There. Celestial, enjoy your meal. But all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft and the realm of the Starry Skies Ancestors, where we are now doing our best to have Celestial give birth to the very first lion cub that we will actually enjoy here with our lion pride. And as you can see, Leonis is looking a little different right now. He did manage to get a special blessing of kind of announcing himself as the royalty of the starry skies lion pride uh, with this really cool new outfit that he got I kind of love it actually <laughs> so I'm really happy that he has something fun like this to wear and it does make me think that we are long overdue to see what is going on over in the village that you guys want me to explore and we are hoping that uh, Celestial's pregnancy will go well. She's getting so close to being able to give birth. And once she gives birth, we will be able to communicate with the giraffe clan and see what kind of special quest they may have for us in order to start an alliance with them and bring one of their children as a foster into our group. So I'm super excited about that. Not to mention we're still collecting a shadow orbs to be able to weaken the strength of the shadow god. God, who has complete control over the gazelle clan right now but slowly but surely we will get there oh and the giraffes are watching on yes and a wildebeest all right celestial i need a little bit more strength if i'm going to be able to take on that wildebeest so please pardon me how close are you to the baby i think taking out the wildebeest will help you celestial all right you eat that and then we'll go and take out the wildebeest all right I think the Wilderbeast clan is getting quite annoyed at this, this startup pride, but I think they're actually more afraid of how powerful the cheetah have proven to be so far. All right, we'll do a good roar. We'll terrify this guy with some roars so that he can't beat us up too much. And then a lot of attacking. The moon bats are helping. Yes! And just in time, Celestial's here. Look, there's another lion from the flying lion pride that we can take out. Uh, and like control that that would probably be a good bit of energy actually a lion from the flying lion pride would have a lot of energy that might help celestial but i really hope we can have the birth of the next lion cub soon the very first one i do know however that celestial is quite concerned over the birth of this new lion cub since she was cursed for most of her pregnancy with that shadow curse so we'll have to see how that affected things <gasps> yes but all right, Celestial, we're going to try to go ahead. We'll take out this lion to sort of establish ourselves amongst the different competing lion prides. All right, he's a tough guy. Oh, and there's another one in the background. He is indeed a tough one, Celestial, but we're going to do it. Yes! And she's ready to give birth! Huzzah! Let's go ahead and eat up. This is so exciting! So by establishing more of our strength here, taking out the rival lion groups, we may have finally gotten ourselves to the point where we can really control the area. So is she ready? She is ready. You guys, let's do this. Back home we go. I feel like Leonis is learning all sorts of new tricks with his strength as he becomes stronger. All right, you guys ready? This is gonna be so exciting, celestial. Where should we have the baby? Let's have the baby over here. Oh, this is so exciting. I kind of want to, you guys, I kind of want to, I kind of want to buy the bed. I kind of want to buy the bed. <laughs> we might do it. How much is the bed? How much is the bed in acorns? I have acorns. I'm occasionally willing to spend them. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to get this rare bed of, of all of this grass. Uh, well, the dried grass. I love that mossy bed too. I'm so glad they're starting to add more naturalistic looking things like this. Oh, this is just going to be much, much better. Much, much, much better. I can, I can live with these. Like these, these are okay. I can, oh yes. I mean, look at that. That You could say that's just like a little spring for them to drink at. I love the rocks. This is, the naturalistic look is just mwah fantastic much better than what we had before i mean i love these rocks i could just spread these around everywhere for our lions to sit on but let's actually get the soft grass bed we're gonna do it for celestial 
how can I can I move it way over here? Do you have to like pick it up? Oh, you do. And we're not gonna have it in the cave. No, I don't want it in. The okay, we're gonna have to have it in the cave. It turns out. Well, let's have it in a little corner in the cave. Kind of when you walk in. All right, Celestial inside. <laughs> we'll have the baby inside. You say. You're right. That way it won't be exposed to all sorts of dangers, like large birds, etc, etc. It might take her a million donkey days to be able to get over here. <laughs> but let's see. Oh, this is so much cooler. You guys, isn't this the best? Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, I know what we need to do. Celestial. Celestial, my dear. Come here. You're slow as, as molasses. But that's because she's like actively giving birth. We shouldn't judge, friends. Look, the moon bats are like, come, Celestial, are you all right? Leonis is coming over to see how she's doing. We climb into the bed. Come on, girl. You're almost there. Oh, I love it. I love it. And asleep we go. She rolled out of the bed while she was asleep. Okay. Baby! You guys! Huzzah! We have a new baby! And actually, my friends, we do have a bit of a twist that I'm sure all of you saw coming. I would like to introduce all of you to Shadow. So yes, there are consequences for having gotten the Shadow Curse while pregnant, and that consequence was actually, quite ironically, the birth of Shadow, who is... The ancestors did their best to try to to balance this as much as they could, but who is one of the wolves that we have had in Wolf Quest? Oh my gosh, he is so tiny! He is so tiny and small, and he is a little baby boy, and he is actually going to be all black. Should we give him- oh, I can't give him that legendary skin, holy moly. But he is going to be a all black skinned, or like furred, little baby boy. And he will have very dark eyes. So that does concern Celestial. She worries that there may be something wrong with him since he has been touched by shadows. But I think things will be okay. This may actually be a way for us to start understanding just what the shadow curse can do now that we, uh, we have a cub who does have some of that magic and some of that energy permanently wrapped into their being. So it is alarming and shadow is a little boy so he might actually have to leave to establish his own pride at some point in the future for our pack. Because uh, males in lion prides do not stick around when they become older. So we'll have to see how that works out in the future, but he may be the one to unravel some of the mysteries of the Shadow God. And Shadow is actually, like I said, one of the, the wolves that we had in Wolf Quest. Is he in the bed? Shadow, you are in the bed. Where are you? Shadow? Shadow! This is not nice. Don't tease your mom like this. Where are you, Shadow? Shadow! You guys, what do we do? Where's the baby? Where's the baby? He's not supposed to just- oh my gosh. He is not supposed to just disappear into the shadows like this. Is he stuck under the bed? Is he legitimately stuck under the bed? Is that- is that what's happening here? No, there he is! He was at the entrance, just giving us all a heart attack. <gasps> Shadow! Hi, little one! What a contrast to have a mother who is actually all white and touched by the strength of the moon wolf that we had. Luna herself has given Celestial a bit of a blessing. And now we have a little lion cub who is all black and he is indeed touched by shadows. We'll have to see where that goes. But I, I was really grateful when, like, I realized that might be what's happening. That we did actually have Shadow in the past. He was a pretty cool wolf, if you guys remember. He was the only survivor of his litter. All the others of his litter did actually pass away. So let's go ahead and get him some food. I'm trying to remember how we can get him food. Not the giraffes who have come to see just what's going on. In fact, how do we get Shadow some food? Because normally I carry the food back for him, right? But I don't think I can carry any of the food back. Oi! Gazelle! Get over here! Can I carry some of, like, the gazelles back? Oi! Hold still, gazelles! I can't see a thing. Get over here. 
Here, hold still. Well, Leonis like completely destroys you. Ooh, that was kind of scary. See the inside of Leonis. So can I carry the gazelle back? No, I cannot. So how am I supposed to level up the little one? <laughs> Do we have to go to a whole new area to level him up? Because there's no small prey to be able to drag back to him? I think we might. Like, now that I'm realizing it, I think Celestial is already like, how do I feed the baby? This would be very alarming for her. How does she feed the baby? We have to leave our savanna? That's where the lions belong. But I guess there's no other food that we can bring back, huh? Oh, and did we get a shadow orb from that? We did not. Is there really no other food we can bring back? I guess we would have to leave the savanna, huh? Well, that's not ideal, to say the least. Huh. Alright, did we get a shadow orb from that? Oh, we did! Nice! Alright, so at least we're up a shadow orb. But yeah, this is that's actually going to be really tricky. So how am I going to raise the baby if I can't bring any food back for it? I guess we can go to maybe the farmland or something? I think the bats are concerned about this too, because we're supposed to be like elite and we're supposed to be able to take care of whatever we need here but maybe the fact the baby is shadow cursed hmm maybe that means that we want to get out of the area and raise the baby elsewhere so that in case there's any stray bits of shadows hiding see, can i carry the cheetah back okay let's see if we can fight the cheetah okay, we got that cheetah and then I'm just going to go ahead and growl a couple times. Got this cheetah. Can I carry the cheetah back? Is there a way to carry the cheetah back to the baby? There is not a way to do that. Fooey! Okay. Yeah, this is going to be really tricky, guys. So I think we'll say that we don't want to be involved in whatever remnants of the shadow curses might be nearby. So we do need to take food back to our new baby. Uh, and since we're worried, since it is a shadow-touched baby, let's raise it somewhere else. But where should that else be? Huh. Like, where should we go? Oh, it's so nice to have two lions who can properly fight again. Alright, well, that's gonna be a little bit of a pivot. Uh, but I think this might actually be a good time for the giraffes to perhaps hint at what they would like us to do in order to prove our strength and possibly get to foster one of their babies. So we'll go ahead and we will speak with the giraffes next time. We will see what they wish from us and we will see if that takes us to a new land while we raise a little shadow so that hopefully he will become a strong and powerful lion and a wonderful new addition to our lion pack. Oh, I did not expect this though. All right, but let's go ahead and level up Leonis. He's doing really good. How are the moon bats? Almost ready to level up too, which is pretty awesome. It basically is like having free help. And little Shadow, who I guess is acting very, very oddly here in the savannah, we will take care of as well. So let's go back to our baby actually. I think Celestial is a little agitated and, oh, oh, I'd be a little agitated too. Intruder. There is actually another lion from the Flying Lion's Pride coming to try to mess with the baby. All right, Mother Lion, unleash your fury. There, that's right, you better back off. So, hmm, all right, I think I know where we're gonna take this now. With the shadow curses and with this land in particular being so vicious, we need to take little shadow elsewhere. All right, so let's go check on little shadow. That would, that would just absolutely terrify me if I came back and like, I was a lioness, and there was a, another male lion. Oh, you're you're okay, little guy. All right, well, let's go ahead and have our lions rest, and let's see what their blessings from the ancestors will be today, especially a little shadow's first blessing. So, let's see. Come right over here. Leonis, now that you have finally had the birth of your first son. Oh! Demon bear eyes! Hmm. 
perhaps that is uh, seeking wisdom from the bookshelf as well, of this curse that the baby has had. Perhaps that's a sign we should go to the winter woods, since that's where the bears are. And we did run into a demon bear in there in the past with our wonderful wolf tribe, a uh, little wolf pack we had. So perhaps it's a sign that we should seek knowledge about this curse where the bears are. Hmm. And then Celestial, what is your dream today? Your blessing from the ancestors? <laughs> a party hat for the wolves! And a eating action for the lynxes! Huh, maybe it is a sign that we should go where the strength of the other Starry Skies groups tend to be. So that might be a sign that we should leave the savannah for a bit. And then finally, Shadow. <gasps> and Shadow's very first- holy cow! His very first ancestor blessing is thinking of the wolves once more. Their ancient roots. Their spirits were originally wolves, after all. And a legendary elixir, which almost doubles the amount of strength that we had to use in the future. So they really expect big things from little Shadow. And he actually has one of my favorite items! Yes! Okay, so I think we can expect great things from Little Shadow. He might be interested in a bunch of relics, perhaps? Uh, he, they expect the legendary strength from him. And I'm really excited to have that little relic piece, actually. Let's like go ahead and just straight up put it down in the den now. Because that looks really cool. Hey, where is it? Wait. Alright. Alright, where's my cool little relic piece? Where's my cool relic piece? Oi! There it is, okay. I was going to be a little annoyed if like I couldn't actually have it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this interesting relic down and then we will see what will happen with our wonderful pride next time. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the birth of a little shadow. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.